This is Yoli 1976 up on here and um thanks for joining me. I just wanted to do a video on some of the things I'm a grocery shop and some of the things I use during my weight loss journey and then um, maintain and to keep losing. I told y'all I wanted to share, continue sharing them things with y'all. So mm, okay, excuse me. So, some of the, my favorite thing, and I probably showed this one already, is my sugar. Don't knock me for it. Yes, it has surclose and aspartame, whatever y'all want to call it all. I don't know. It probably have it all in there. I don't care. It's worked for me. I lost um, 113 plus pounds, and I went from eating, you know, frappes and all kinds of fat and food. Not to say I don't eat it every now and then, but I went from eating it on a everyday routine and I had to take my healthy food and redesign it to fit all the bad food that I used to eat so I took my let's say I took the bad food and made and turned it into my healthy I, re, I redid it over again and made it healthy and I did it the best way I could and it worked out for me so don't knock me you do what you do and I do what I do and by all means I'm not getting paid to do this to advertise any of this stuff just trying to help y'all out. Just like y'all help me out. And I want to say I appreciate when y'all show y'all videos of y'all going in your fridge, showing what y'all got, or y'all cooking videos, or or um, just showing your food in general because they help each other. And that's what it's all about, helping each other. So, um, this right here come from BJ's. Yes, y'all. When y'all do y'all videos, please tell us where you get it from because I be sending messages and asking y'all where did you get it from and never respond back and it's like irritating but this came from bj's whole um wholesales and it's like nine dollars and 99 cents and it's the knockoff brand of splendor they do sell splendor in there but it's a little higher and i feel like why should i pay more when i get the same thing in a knockoff brand and taste the exact same made the exact same ingredient and this is berkeley and jensen's um, no calorie sweetener. Everything is zero. So, it's all good. I put it in everything. I cook with it. I put it in my smoothies and my protein shakes. Everything. And they, this box has 700. I don't buy the bag where you can scoop. I just like the individual because I can just throw them in my purse and take it with me. Because when I go to my mother-in-law house, she likes to offer me tea. And they got regular sugar. And at least I have my own sugar. Or when I go out. I have my own sugar in my purse. So anyway, this is um this is it. <laughs> and it's no calorie. So and it's got 700 package inside this box. Okay. Another thing, um, I went to ShopRite and I bought this. Um a lot of y'all been going to whole um Whole Foods and uh, Trader Joe's. Well, I don't have any near me. I live in Maryland, but I'm living in the county part of Maryland. And the part of Maryland that they have Trader Joe's and Whole Foods is about a good 30, 40 minutes away from me. So, um, I don't feel like driving down there all the time to get stuff. So, I try to find it up here where I live at in the county part of Maryland. And this one is, I got it out shot right. And I think it was $3 and some change. So it costs a lot of money to be healthy. And this is Crazy Richard. No salt is in this. And it's pure PB. And it's pressed powder as you can see. Okay. And you can use this in your smoothie. Like I would use it to put in my smoothie. Because I used to use the regular Jiffy. Which is 190 calories in here. Everything else is not bad. Nothing's bad about this one. But it's 190 calories, and that's a lot of calories when you gotta add other things to your smoothies or with your um, if you're gonna use it with fruit or whatever you're gonna do, it runs the calorie up. So you want to keep it as low and healthy as can be. Because the things I look at is my calories, my sugar, my carbs, and my protein. I want more protein and less of all of them. So this is 50 calories for a tablespoon. And it has um, less than a gra one gram of sugar, and protein is six gram, and um, carbs is only three grams. Okay. And this is Richard's 
Crazy Richards No Salt Prayer PB. It even says on the back of it, you can use it for shakes, yogurt, cereal, baking, pasta, and much more. Okay? And I'll let y'all know how this tastes and works. Probably just the same as the one y'all been getting. And <clears throat> um, I showed this in the past, but I'll show it again. All this bread and stuff up here. Excuse how I look. Um, it's Saturday. I'm relaxing. I don't work, so I'm not going to get all dolled up and dressed up. And I tried to stay out the video so y'all see how crazy I look. But I showed this in the past, but this is my bread that I use. And this is Joseph. Should, um, what is it? Super soft. Flax and oat bran. Um, whole wheat. Lavish bread. And it's just a flat piece of bread as you can see. And it's got like eight squares in there. Let's see. Let's put it up against my body so you can see how big it is. Okay. And I cut these in half. And use them. So my eight turns. And I will be cutting them when I open it. My eight turns into 16 pieces of bread. I use them for sandwich. Sometimes I'll make pizza. I love it. All kinds of things. I'll be showing y'all on the video. I did it in the past. I think in my old videos. But I'll update it and just do it again. And show y'all how I use this. And this came from BJ's. And it's $3.79. They had a pita bread version. And it's um, $2.99 for the pita bread from BJ wholesale and it, it even tells you it's good for counting carbs this is my weight for my weight loss surgery and people that's counting carbs family okay so it's good for counting carbs now this bread only has and it's tasty so it's not bad and I used it from the beginning to the end of my surgery I mean from the beginning of the the whole thing I have you know trying to lose weight with the weight loss surgery and it's been good to me and it only has is 50 calories for a half a lavish so like I said I cut them in half and I make eight and my family eats it too depending on how I fix it because you can use it like you know traditionally we buy the tortillas and to make tacos and stuff. And matter of fact, this one is got all and old. So I throw it away. But um, to make tacos and stuff like this, soft shell taco. Well, because it's eight in here and I cut it in half and it makes 16. There's no way I can eat all this before it expires. What I do, I, I make tacos. I, when I cut it in half, I make their tacos or some. Um, um, sandwiches or whatever it was. they eat it too so anyway it's only got two grams of fat it's 50 calories when you cut it in half okay I guess it would be a hundred when you keep the whole thing um class they don't have any cholesterol um y'all know my cholesterol is borderline so the same for that peanut butter it doesn't have any cholesterol in it the um peanut butter that I showed y'all earlier no cholesterol in this for the people that suffer with cholesterol. Um, to, uh, it do has a lot of sodium. 260 milligrams sodium. But for me. I'm not suffering with high blood pressure and all that. So it doesn't bother me. And I don't eat a lot of salt. So Total carbs is 7 grams. Yay. <laughs> because uh, weight loss surgery people. You know we can't mess with the carbs too much. So 7 grams of carb is great. I remember when I first started and I was looking for something. I wanted a sandwich so freaking bad. And I couldn't tolerate the bread. I ate the bread. It felt like it just ball up in my stomach and give me the worst. So I was looking for something light that I can have a sandwich with and not hurt me and be low in carbs. And when I found this I was so happy. Um, Yeah, so it was only 7 grams of carb. 5 grams of protein. Yes, it got protein in this bread. And no sugar. And it even had 3 grams of fiber. So this is really good, y'all. Run to BJ's and get this. But don't buy it up for me. <laughs> and all, it's, it even has on the back little recipes telling you how to do the Reuben roll-up. The club roll-up. 
the chicken avocado roll up, the omelet roll up. I just love it. I just love this bread. It's been my friend through the whole thing. So that's that's a staple in my life. Oh crap. Another thing, since it's dropping off here, yeah, I didn't buy this this time, but everybody that know me know that I'm an almond freak. This comes from Walmart. And um had this for a long time, by the way. Read on that. Okay, it's good. But anyway, this comes from Walmart. And um these almonds, this is a cinnamon roast one. Like that time of the month, I love to eat a lot of sweet food. I don't know, I crave a lot of sweet and this is what saved me. I have the cinnamon. I usually had a cocoa one. They have cocoa and a cinnamon. And then uh, let me show y'all another thing I use for that time in the month. Uh, because that's very important for people that's um, trying to lose weight. I'm looking at the minutes. The main change during the time of the month. These, you get these from anywhere, snack or in the market. This I only eat that time in the month and it just passed and that's why I have so many of them because the carbs, I don't like the carbs on it, 16 grams of carb. Um, the sugar on it is um, 7 grams of sugar, 1 gram of protein and it's 100 calories of course. So it's not one of my favorite things that I use only during that time in the month because I don't like the car things. But um got these from Big Lot for a dollar. So they just want clearance for a dollar and that's why I got so many I'm gonna probably give them away because they probably be bad. But no they alright the dates there I'll be alright. And then I got the chips ahoy 100 calorie number stuff. Same old, same old. It's um, 18 grams of carb. It's not, it's 100 calories. Not one of my favorites. I swear it's not because of the carbs. But that's what I use to get through that time of month. So that will be a part two of this video. And I'll get back on here, y'all. Why I bore y'all to death. Thanks for joining me. Oh, and follow me on Instagram. I think I'll get back on the second video and let y'all know what it is. I think it's Yoli1976. Alright, love y'all.